Do you have a Windows CE or Compact Edition solution and wanting to know how to keep it going for years even after these products go into life? Stay tuned. Okay, if you're a Windows CE customer, um, this is a video for you. And what uh, I'm gonna help you figure out is what are your options once the Windows CE family finally goes end of life. Um, is, I'm showing you the CE uh, roadmap right here. And as you can see, the bars are split into two sections. The section on the left is for the support. And as you can see, for all four of these CE products, the support has completely ended. So the last one, Compact 2013, the support ended for that this past October 2023. And um, so that only leaves the life, life of the product, and that only leaves two products that still have life. That's your CE7 and your Compact 2013. The other products, CE6, CE5, and older, all done, all gone. That product doesn't exist anymore from a perspective of a Koa sticker or buying it. The only two products, as you can see, are CE7, Compact 2013. And the CE7 product end of life is February 28, 2026. And the Compact 2013 takes you to May 31st of 2028. So what do you do if you've built an appliance and, and you have an entire solution around these products and they are going away? What happens? What are your options? Let's talk about it. So CE5 gone in 2019, end of life. CE6 gone in 2022. CE7 will go end of life in 2026. What does end of life mean? Does that mean that you can go do a last time buy, stock up on it and keep right on uh, putting that sticker on the machine and, and uh, in the software and shipping it, selling and shipping it or no? And uh, the question for that or the answer for that is uh, no. Uh, in the embedded channel, you cannot do a last time buy. The reason for that is the products have 10 to 15 years of life. And for these products, 15 years of life. So they've been around a long time. So your goal with embedded IoT products is to do away with the inventory so that when the product goes into life, you have no more inventory of those COA sticker licenses. But what you can do is use downgrade rights. Now what that means is you move on to the next version. Um, or in this case, we'll talk about Microsoft changed the downgrade right rules where now you have to go to the latest, most high-end and most current version of a product, buy that sticker, then you can continue to load the old software. So if you need to load CE5, CE6, CE7, um, you can, you can still do that today. What you have to do, however, is buy the most current product. Now the issue here is that CE7 is still available. So if you're gonna load CE7, you're gonna wanna be buying CE7. If you're loading Compact 2013, you're obviously gonna be buying Compact 2013. If you're starting a brand new project and uh, something that's been similar uh, to these old CE products, well, then you want to look at the Windows on ARM family. And uh, because the Windows on ARM family is down close to that price range of this product and it will run on ARM processors, reach out to us. I have other videos on Windows on ARM. That's only for new projects. For old projects, if you want to keep those old projects going, well, the answer is downgrade rights. And these are the actual terms from the PEG or the Program Execution Guide. Inside the PEG is Section 10 or Schedule 10 is the downgrade rights section. And it explains the rules around downgrade rights. And ultimately, the bottom arrow you see there goes into the effect that if you, once a product goes into life, meaning it's not available anymore, that opens the door to this. So as I said, CE7 is still available. So you're going to still buy CE7. But as we get past 20, February 2026 and that product is no longer available, well then you can move to Compact 2013, buy the 2013, keep loading your CE7, CE6, CE5 images. And they explain that to you right there as an example. They even use Compact 2013 as an example. The most current high end uh, of a product, the most current version of Windows CE is Compact 2013. Buy that product, keep right on going. 
I'll give you an example of the part number and the process. So again, if you've built your entire solution around Windows CE and you want to keep loading those, the older images, uh, right now, if it's C6, C5, you're going to buy this product right here. C7, you still have two years to go. So you're going to keep buying C7. Uh, and then once we get into past February 2026 and C7 is gone, well, then you can buy this product and downgrade to C7 as well. So you order the 2013 license, which is that part number that you see there. You apply that COA sticker, which I'm showing you an example of what that COA sticker looks like, to the device. Then you keep loading your existing older image on the product and selling and shipping it. Of course, all of the support is gone, so there are no security patches or anything available for these CE products. And so if you need something with security patches, that's when you're gonna look for the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 on ARM. Look at the Windows on ARM family of products to migrate your CE projects over to a newer, more modern version. And we hope to have a Windows 11 LTSC uh, soon that would also support the ARM family. There's some options there for from Qualcomm and NXP that you can look at. Reach out to us. Any questions on downgrading any other products outside of the C family, reach out to us. We can answer those questions. Thank you guys for watching.